You haven't heard anything, have you? Hmm? I hope it's me. But you don't? You're telling me NASA brought in three of us and none of us are going to be on the next mission? We're not here because we're black. I know. Still, it'll be good for people to see. <laughs> I've been working on Mr. Abbey. I think I got a shot at it. No offense. I hope you get it. Mr. Abbey. Guy, come on in and have a seat. Well, I think we all know why we're here. We're looking to crew up STS-8. You gentlemen want to go to space or what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our first press conference is coming up next week. We know we've got a big first here. We're going to get a lot of press on this flight. Training for press conferences starts ASAP. We're going to have two PR events a month at headquarters with some interviews in between. There's going to be a lot of attention on us here. We need to be ready. You fellas want to call your wives now? I got a phone right here. Guy? It's an honor, sir, but I got a lot of paperwork to finish up. All right. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thanks, Fred. Excited? Of course. Nervous too, I bet. It'll be the first night flight. I'm glad one of us is making it up there at least. You know, there's a reason why it's taken us so long to get up here. We just put in the work. Come on. You know it's more than that? That's not how it was for me. Fine, maybe for you, but for the rest of us, we're gonna be down here looking up at you. It isn't about that. Feeling okay? I'm feeling fine. Don't worry about me. Right.
Can I help? Oh, no, 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 don't you worry about it. <laughs> Where's Lolita? Yeah, she's out working. Been tutoring nights for a little while now. So, kids, fill me in. How's school going? Good. It's going good. Mm -hmm. Guy? Yeah, it's uh, good. I'm making a cloud tank for the science club. Don't forget about your regular schooling. Don't make us waste money on that Latin tutor. Can't neglect your Latin just because you don't like it. All the white kids from Bieber are ahead of me. It's not my fault. No, no, no. It isn't about that. You just got to sit down and do your work. I've been working. You just haven't been here for the past six months. Got it. Right. Bluefords go to college. Remember that. I've applied. Yeah. I've been selected. I'm going on the next flight. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Kaya, I'm so proud of you. I'll be a mission specialist on STSA. It's going to be something, all right. You must be excited. I am. Flying that machine is going to be incredible. And you're going to be a role model for our people. For kids to dream bigger. I am just an aerospace engineer. You know that. We both know that it's more than that. You should count yourself lucky. I know. It is gonna be a lot of press. Dad. Yeah. You're still up. Yeah. Is everything okay? Yeah, why? Just wait. And you're awake. Well, every time they drag me back to the hospital, I just keep thinking of what I want to do when I'm home. So. Are you, do you think you're going to have to go back? They gave me some different medication to keep the seizures away. Are you going to take them this time? I mean, sorry. How's the cloud tank coming? Slowly. Slowly? It's complicated. Mm. So is this. Do you ever get... Frustrated? Why are you building your cloud tank? 
for like doing it? Then that should be enough. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you mission specialist Guyon Blueford. Mr. Blueford, how does it feel to be the first African American in space? We'll uh, see when I get there. <laughs> Are you excited to be the first black man to look down on the earth? I'm excited to be a part of our team, and I'm very grateful for all the people that helped me get here. But won't it be just fine to be the first African American up there in space? <laughs> You know, it might be a bad idea to be first if you stop and think about it. Being second or third, uh, you wouldn't have to, you wouldn't um, have someone always poking you in the side saying you were first. Hi, Mr. Blueford. This is Glenn from Hi, the American I'm, Press. Uh, I'm Hank I'm calling you from uh, Reader's Digest. We want to make a profile of first thing. Hi, Mr. Blueford. It is Jenny McGonigal from the Times. We heard this is Adam Bruner from the Chicago Sun Times. I was wondering if I could talk to you about your experiences as the first African American. This is Eugene calling from the LA Times. Hi there. My name is Cassidy from the Herald. I'm writing a piece about the lack of African American representation in traditional science roles. If you could give me a call back, that would be great. Thanks. Another long day. Is it the press again? <sighs> Honey, you could just be you. You know that. Can I? They don't want me to be me. I'm just an engineer and a damn good one. But that's not good enough now. What do... How come I have to do more? Because I'm black? Bullshit. I'm sorry. I don't know. Hey, listen, I know it's a sacrifice. Still haven't finished your painting. I haven't had much time. In six months. I've been busy. Guy, come and help your mother. No, no, honey, don't worry. I can do it. Go. Get back and finish your project. Absolutely not. He should have offered to help. I don't mind. He's got work to do. Mom, I... You shouldn't have to be told. Sorry, Dan. I'm fine. And it's my responsibility. It shouldn't all be on you. It's not about me.
You're right. But you know what? This isn't about me. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mission Specialist Guyon Bluford. Hi uh, there, and um, thank you all for coming. I understand there are questions. Young man. Mr. Bluford, you're about to launch on a historic flight. People want to hear from you. I know I do. How do you feel? Um, well, um, I am just here to do my job. And, and I feel that flying this machine is going to enable me to... I feel an awesome responsibility. And I take this responsibility seriously of being a role model and for opening another door for black Americans. But the important thing is not that I'm black, but that I do a good job as a scientist and an astronaut. I work really hard to get here, and I'm proud of that. But I'm proud too of being a vanguard for black Americans to set new standards. There's a vehicle on the pad the night of the launch uh, as we depart our quarters uh, heading out uh, to the pad but it was raining cats and dogs. For a kid from West Philadelphia who dreamed of being an aerospace engineer I've had a career that has far exceeded my expectation as well as my imagination. seconds. We have a go for main engine start. Six. Three. Two. One. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the spaceship lighting up the The SRVs lit off and it became very bright. It was just like day in the cockpit. Uh, it was a bright light. I mean, it was just a glow all around the cockpit. One mile. Down range of four and a half miles from Kennedy Space and Albert. For showing that black Americans, men, and women can and will reach for the stars.